to number 15 then, the last question in the 2018 SQA Higher Maths Paper 1, and it's just draw a picture. You don't have to show any calculations at all for these four marks. Sketch a possible graph for, the, for this function. The graph is a function f of x when you're given these four facts about it. Ah, that's quite handy the way to finish off the paper, isn't it? So, the first fact is this. x plus 4 is a factor. Well, if x plus 4 is a factor, that means x equals negative 4 is a root, or negative 4 is a zero of the function, meaning it gives the answer zero. So when x is negative 4, the answer is zero. I know it's a bit of a big blob, but it's just to make it stand out. Here's another one. x equals 2 is a repeated root. So if something happens at x equals 2, again, it's a root. It's the root of the equation. So it gives the answer 0. Now, it says it's a cubic function, which means if it completely factorises, there should be three brackets. Might have been a common factor. I told you one of the factors, you don't need to write anything down, of course, but by saying x equals 2 is a repeated root means the other two brackets give the same answer. So it's like a, a double hit at that point, that's a tangent point, it's not going to cross through it, it's going to come down and go up, or go up and come down. So the possibility that it could go this way, or it could be a tangent that way, and this could cross down, or it could cross up. But there's only two possible pictures for a cubic and that would be either it's a positive one or it's a negative one. It has to be one of those two. Is that the template I'm going to use or is that the template I'm going to use? Now here's another one. At negative 2, the gradient f dashed of negative 2 is 0. So there's a turning point. One of these turning points, two turning points. There's a turning point at negative 2. So on negative 2... But unfortunately, you don't know whereabouts it is. The gradient is zero, so it takes a turn there. But it could take a turn either way. One of the two possibilities are, first one, it's either coming up through here, takes a turn, and then goes down to there and up. Or it's this way around. It comes down from here, takes a turn. Then it's got to go up there and down. And that's where the last part. Where you cross the y-axis... It says the gradient is greater than zero. So you're crossing the y-axis heading up the way. So if the turning point was here, that'd be no use. It'd have to be turned down in order to come up. So there's the picture. You must be coming down through that point, turning here, crossing the y-axis, heading up the way, to bounce off of there and come back down. But so the marks is difficult. These two are easy. That's a factor. So it crosses at negative 4. That's a repeated root, so it's a bounce, a tangent at 2. Not so easy showing this bit. I should put a dotted line in deliberately. And then crossing the axis with the right orientation.